Every year, millions of people around the world leave their countries in search of a better life. But migrating to a land of milk and honey isn't always sweet. Meet one man in New York who's known nothing but work for the past 15 years, all for his children. To me, durian is what I'm doing for life. That's what I'm special for. My name is Jay Fang and I'm 41 and I'm a durian retailer in New York City. I have been selling durian for the last 14-15 years. Durian, tropical fruit. They are from hot areas like Malaysia, Thailand, Cambodia, in those hot areas. I call it high energy fruit. Right now the market, the energy drinks are very popular. Durian is like 10 times of that and it's natural. The first day I got off the plane, I don't even understand English. I don't have no friends. I don't have nobody to talk to. I got sent to Long Island direct. There's no Chinese that you ever seen. You turn on the TV, you don't know what they're trying to tell you. There's no entertainment, no friends, nothing. I was crying every day, locked myself into a bathroom. I don't want to see no one. immigrant come into this country, it's not they really want to give up their homeland. It's not they really think you as a better. I could say 100% of us, we all have homesick. We all miss our homeland. You have your loved one, you have your property, you have everything in your homeland. You have your family there. I don't really want to say it, if you have a choice, don't come here. I always say, the first generation here is only work, 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 work like a machine. I make it to Chinatown around 7.30, 8 o'clock, and that's how I start the day. We close at 8, 8.30 every day. I take another hour, train home. That was already like 9 to 10 o'clock. That's how uh, every day, almost the same. I have not taken a holiday, vacation, or anything during the last 15 years. We do have a day off every Tuesday. Just like every new doctor, one day's off a week. 80% of my main customer, they are mainly Chinese. I also have customer, they come to buy durian because they miss the feelings of their homeland. 
，因為我太太係馬來西亞下人啊嘛，佢佢啲有佢細個嗰時佢都有經驗講個講個釘話去摘榴蓮啊，見啲跟啲朋友去去攞榴蓮啊，又幾艱難啊，又呢樣嗰樣啊咁樣。保證係最靚嘅榴蓮嚟，我呢度只只都係巨星級。I have people from our state watch TV or YouTube. They saw my stand and they know what it is, what a durian. They call it a stinky fruit. I hope group of people come to my first stand, buy a durian, and see who cannot take it. They eat it right there, and some of them throw up. Some of them love it. It's almost like a competition when you go to a bar, see who get drunk first. You know, it's the same way. See who throw up first. <laughs> I have people buy durian for me, and they get into a subway, and everybody look at them and say, "Where the hell is that smell coming from?" You will feel like so embarrassed. So, I think of a way try to prevent that problem happen again, and I have a best sealer. After I open the durian, I seal it for everybody. We have a lot of Asian lady. They married to a white guy. They are kind of homesick, I guess. So they pass by my durian stand and they see that and they buy one home. And after they get home, they want to share it with their white husband. And the odor and the taste of it drive their husband crazy. I got a lady come back and tell me, okay, my husband banned durian from home. Tell me not to buy durian to take it home anymore. If you want to eat it, go eat it in the backyard. I don't want my kids to follow my footsteps. I want him to become something successful, like a doctor. So I could support him to achieve his goal. In uh, 10, 20 years, I wish he could uh, support me back, so I don't have to work anymore. I want to retire. <laughs>